Did you know that global franchise restaurants have special menu options that are not available in the United States? In this series, we're going to recreate those items so you can try them at home too. Hello everyone! In this episode of our Around the World series, we're going to recreate the almond cream cheese pretzel from Auntie Anne's in Korea. At the Auntie Anne's in the United States, there are almond pretzels but they're plain pretzel with no filling. So sad and boring, don't you agree? In this video, we'll fix that. But since I don't know much about baking, I searched for help and found Bang Jun so I changed his recipe slightly but it's pretty much the same. Let's get started! First, we need to make the pretzel dough because it needs to rest for 2 hours. In a mixing bowl, add 120 grams of water, 15 grams of sugar, 5 grams of yeast, 300 grams of AP flour, 2 grams of baking soda, 4 grams of salt, 20 grams of butter, and 60 grams of yogurt. Mix it for 8 minutes and rest it for an hour at room temperature and then an hour in the fridge. While waiting on the dough, we will make the almond crunchy topping. In a pot, add 30 grams of heavy cream, 15 grams of butter, and 50 grams of sugar. And in a separate bowl, measure 60 grams of chopped almond. Move to the stove. On low heat, melt the butter and sugar. When everything is melted, add the almond and stir continuously. When it gets dry and the bottom starts to get color, stir it really well so it won't burn until all the almonds become golden brown color. Once every almond is coated with caramel, spread the mixture on parchment paper and cool it down. Next, we'll prepare the cream cheese filling. I used 225 grams of cream cheese. Soften it well. You can use a stand mixer, but I'm feeling energetic. I pulled it out while I was making the almond crunch, but it was still not so easy to soften with the whisk, so I suggest taking it out of the fridge at least an hour before you need it. When the cream cheese is softened, add 50 grams of condensed milk and mix well. Then put it in a piping bag for later. Last thing to prepare before shaping the dough is some baking soda water. Add 100 grams of boiling hot water in a bowl and add 25 grams of baking soda. Stir it well and add 100 grams cold water to cool it down quick. And after 2 hours of resting, we can finally start shaping. Form the dough into a long square shape. Put the cream cheese down the middle and fold the dough and pinch it together well. I pinched three times to make sure cream cheese won't leak out. Then carefully roll it to make a long thin strip. Finally cut them into 5 inch sticks. Bring over the soda water and some paper towels. Dunk the pretzel sticks then put them on the paper towel to remove extra water. Repeat the process until you have used all the dough. Once they are all soaked in the soda water, dip them into the almond crunch and place them on a sheet tray. If it's sticky, wetting your hands can help it not stick. We will cook them in a 410 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 6 minutes. After 6 minutes, pull them out and put some melted butter on top. I don't have a brush, so I use the spoon. Move them to a cooling rack and here is our almond cream cheese pretzel. Whoa, you can't escape pretzel. I can't say it's exactly the same as Antian's, but it's pretty good. And way better than plain pretzel with no filling. Wow. What yummy menu items do franchise restaurants have in your country? Leave a comment below and like, subscribe and stay tuned to see what we will cook next.